Hi guys and welcome back to Chimera Land. Today we're going to look at a few hints and tips for beginners to get started in the game. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now when you start the game you get your pets given to you and one of the um, main characteristics of the game is that you can add sort of other animal parts to your pets. Here we have the black horse and as you can see you can actually put different parts from different animals onto your pet but not every pet is able to do this. So here we have an Alagon. He is some mutation because he's got little branches on him but we can also put parts on him. And all you need to do is click on the appearance button on the bottom right. This one um, actually says that the pet has not unlocked devouring, which means that this particular pet, and here's another one here, you cannot put other parts on them. You can um, increase their level, so move them from grand to noble to illustrious, but they cannot take on any other parts. So if you're looking to make some monstrosity, you just want to check in the appearance button, which as I said is the bottom right, that you can actually place other animals' parts on them. Okay, this one is pretty straightforward. Um, just go to your spirit orb and make sure that you're always doing some form of research. It's pretty easy to forget or not um, go back to it, but you do have to go in and um, activate everything. And then once it's completed researching, you also need to activate it again. So go through your tabs and make sure that um, if you can, you are always doing your research because it will help you out in the game as you go along. Okay, use the home shop every day. Go in and have a look. There are limited daily things you can buy, but go in, take a look at the shop and buy what's there. Um, easy enough to see, you can get the battle trial stones, hunting trial stones, but if you need things, buy them at the shop. Okay, this one absolutely kills me. I am a game hoarder from way back. And you can only place a maximum of 14 storage containers in your base at any one time. You can upgrade them by going into your home shop here, as you can see, and you can get larger storage containers. But the maximum you can buy in the shop is actually a 42 slot container. You can get some that are gifts and things like that, which are slightly larger, but that is the maximum you can purchase in the shop. So if you're a hoarder like me, just be wary of that. The Secret Realm is a training ground um, where it gives you a large amount of experience for going in there. And you have um, a five minute time frame where it's basically a free for all where you go in and kill as many enemies as you can within the time frame. You can do this twice a day. And you can also go in in a team, which accumulates all your experience points with the team. Now, this is a great way to get your levels up, especially um, when you're in the earlier levels. A little bit harder, sort of the higher you go, because you need more experience. Um, these are what the training portals will look like. If you click use, it will actually make a portal like this, but they are just found around the map. If you're actually wanting to find one of the map, um, here's the map here. They look kind of like a sideways eye and they are all over the map and you just need to pop in, find them and you can actually go into the secret training that way. Once you're able to, um, make sure that you do the daily encounters. They do have level limits and they also have power limits. But as soon as you're able to do them, they're actually just in the top taskbar. But make sure you do as many as you can. The Grand Giant Beast and the Noble Giant Beast give you very good rewards. Um, and you will go into that match with a team of other people that um, or other players that are wanting to do that encounter. The encounters are a great way to get some higher level materials and if you complete the War of Drones you will actually end up with an epic level drone at the end of the evolution period once you've um, gathered all your tokens. Now 
this one I didn't notice for some time, but you actually get different levels of mastery for different resources that you mine. So if you just look at the top, here's mastery plus two or the mining mastery plus two. This particular item um, is mining mastery plus three. So if you're going around, you do unlock skills as you go, which enables you to actually collect resources from these. Each of these items has a special resource you can get. Um, this one's um, gather mastery plus three. This one is mining mastery plus two. But this increases your skills, so your gathering skills, your um, cutting down skills or your logging skills um, and your mining skills. So this one's gathering mastery plus three. So have a look around at the items, even if you cannot collect them through your skills because you haven't unlocked it, still try and go for your higher level gathering mastery because it will give you more points towards your gathering um, logging and mining skills and you'll move up faster okay this one if you unlock your coin maker at your spirit orb you can actually craft cowries so you do need to um, get the resources for that which is the golden thread and the patent shells but once you have that you can actually just craft more cowries and get more money Okay, if you go to the top right and click the little hot bar there where it has your potions and food, you can see where if you click switch, it crosses across to pet. Now what you do is you tick that box beside the 40% and what that does is when your pet or attendant drops down to 40% health, they will drink a health potion and they will actually regather their health. Great for battles. As you go along in battles, you might find that your pets um, get killed. If they do, you can actually restore your pet's life by simply feeding them either a great beast egg or devouring a great beast. This gives them a chance to restore one life. Your attendants can form their key function and that also gives them a chance to restore a life. And lastly, this is a bit of a blanket one, but do everything. There's a lot of daily tasks. There's a lot of um, sort of hidden points, rewards and everything all throughout the game. You'll find that you have little red exclamation marks across a lot of the um, sort of menus. Click on every single one. Have a look at what you can do. Don't be scared to go around the menus. There's things sort of hidden all over the place um, where you can actually claim points, claim prizes, um, rewards. So don't be afraid to look around and claim everything you can. Um, the game gives you lots of rewards um, for doing certain tasks and you get rewards for simply logging onto the game. So make sure you have a look around and get every reward that you can find in the game. You also have daily activities which give you specific rewards um, each day. So just make sure to go in there, as I said, look at um, any exclamation marks you have and it tells you what you need and what rewards you will receive. Um, the rewards, as I said, are quite good. So just make sure that you look around all the menus and make sure that you actually do your daily rewards and collect anything else that you come across as you go. So there's a few hints and tips when you begin the game just to get your levels up and make you a little bit stronger. So that's all for today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you next time.